Electric cars are becoming much more affordable as the price of gasoline or petrol rises. Until now, the major automobile makers have given electric vehicles very little attention. To learn about the demand for these vehicles, we turn to Joachim Betker. He is the president of the automaker Smart, which is a Daimler company. Joachim, is the market really ready for electric vehicles? The, the market is emerging. They are, they are, we are coming to the market right now. We are launching our Smart Electric Drive, going to all the European markets and also overseas markets. There are other competitors coming now into the market. There is still a lot of work to be done on the infrastructure side. So there's a close collaboration with the French government, German government to, to put all these infrastructure items on the road to get the market ready because when the customer buys the car he needs the infrastructure to reload the battery and not only at home in his garage but also on public places and this has to be put in place. This is not at 100% ready yet but uh, we think the market is ready for the first cars to come for the first enthusiasts to buy them and then by the month and by years this will uh, develop. Yes. What is it really like driving these vehicles? Is it really a different car? Yeah, it's a very different car. It's a really great driving experience. Everybody, I talked to several dealers and they now have the cars in their showrooms and they hand it over to customers and when the customers driving this test drive and coming back they come back with a smile because it's astonishingly different. You have uh, a quiet driving experience that you never had before because uh, you ever have the motor sound every time. Now, first time, it's really quiet. And secondly, you have the torque right from the beginning. So at the red traffic light, you're really one of the fastest to, to start. You mentioned that you're talking with the municipalities. Are you getting enough support from them? There's a, a network from the automotive industry together with the governments of the different countries to to establish this uh, RISO network of, of charging facilities, etc. So there is a big public support because uh, the overall objective is to reduce the CO2 emission and this is a political objective, a public objective, so there is this strong support and it is needed to, to get the electric car on the road, yes. Your Smartville production site has eight suppliers present. Now these are independent companies. Does everybody really think on the same page? Do you have the same culture? We are working with eight partners at Smartville right from the beginning. So there is a culture that has grown up in these years of confidence and experience. So we do not not feel this kind of risk. It's, it's the contrary. It's uh, feeling of uh, mutual confidence and uh, respect for the specific competence of each partner. NCAD professors who recognized your performance were pretty impressed by your lean culture throughout the entire plant. How do you really achieve that? No, I don't know whether we are more successful than anybody else, but uh, we are successful in our way, hopefully, to doing the things. The one major item is the design of the car which fits perfectly to the plant or the plant fits very well to the car. So we have these modules, cockpit module, door module and the, the outer plastic parts, the CBS parts. So this fits very well and then again there was a, a very good logistic planning right from the beginning and then there is a team that is running the, the plant for now for, for 15 years and uh, who did a good job on productivity improvement, quality improvement on a day-to-day -day basis. Do you have to continually engage your workers and motivate them with these goals? Yes, yes, there's a day-to-day -day effort to improve quality, to improve direct run rate, to improve overall efficiency. And this is a day-to-day -day job, one X of communication. And the other thing is the strategic orientation that we try to to also give strategic or orientation to the team and to the whole Smartville family so they know what is happening in the next couple of years coming up with the electric drive with now the new product coming in two years, three years time. So this is part of our strategic orientation. So you're pretty flexible and that's what this modular production process is helping you do? Yes. We try to respond quickly to market demands and we try to set up these limited editions twice a year and if there are even more 
demands from specific markets, we, we try to respond as quick as possible. With our supply network right on site, we are able to, to bring together all expertise and all engineers to, to put it to work. You're competing with a small car in urban environments in emerging markets. How is the competition there? The competition is, on the one hand side, it's a very tough market environment because you have a lot of cars competing in this segment. Nevertheless, the Smart has a one USB, which is its length. Better said, it's shortness because it's a very short car, small car. So this is a USB, which accounts a lot for those buying a Smart. You have a unique salary incentive system. How does this really work? So what uh, I explained is the uh, system intressement, which uh, is a variable part of the salary of every worker, whether he works blue collar or white collar worker. So we have 14% of uh, variable salary every month. And these 14% are linked directly to the three major objectives, good quality, delivery in time and uh, overall equipment efficiency. So these three factors bring with the formula either 14%, 10% or 0%. So it's everybody, blue collar, white collar, is really working in getting this major orientation on a day-to-day -day business. And this is the major factor also for customer satisfaction, the quality and to be delivered in time. This is the basis for customer satisfaction. So there's an incentive for workers to try to improve quality. When did you really start this program? This has been implemented right from the beginning of SMART. And then of course uh, we have a continuous improvement process so the, the level of quality is increasing. PPM rates are going down from year to year to improve quality and to have an incentive for the whole group, for the whole team to, to get better in in quality performance and in delivery performance. How is the Euro crisis really affecting your business? We are present in, in about more than 40 markets all over the world. So one markets are getting up, others are going down. Actually, the Euro crisis, you know, the, the numbers of car sales in Western Europe or in the European Union, they're going they're rather stable or going down in Southern Europe. So they are also, we are affected, yes. But we compensate by other regions. Uh, how about when you sell to India? Is the, is the euro your house currency? Our house currency is the euro. We do not sell in India, but we are selling to China. Actually, China is uh, the market we are expanding. We recently moved to Russia. We are in Brazil. Brazil with some restriction because of uh, export legislations or import le legislation, tax legislation. We are not, uh, we are not in India. How do you see the market really changing over the next 10 years for electric vehicles? The first, the most important thing right now, we concentrate on getting the, the electric drive on the road right now. As I said, we had a prototype phase four years ago. We had a phase where we built up 2,000 cars for different markets, 18 markets, more than 18 markets. So now we move really to final customers. The first two generations were limited to institutions, were limited to companies, and the cars were not sold. They were only leasing models. So now this is the first experience of really final customers buying the car and using the car in more than 40 markets all over the world. So this is the first experience we focus on right now. Looking further ahead, uh, 10 years from now, it's too early to say. We're looking now for the next two years getting more experience, looking to what the battery market and battery research is doing, and then we will define our strategy. Do you have plans to export jobs to cheaper producing countries? So we want uh, to keep the production system in smart wheel as it is right now, because we are successfully producing the smart two-seaters, and of course we want to continue in continuous improvement. We are not right now working with the Renault on a new smart generation which will come up in the forecoming years and within this change of model change so we also want to improve bit by bit our production system but we want, do not want to turn it over to another system. We want to maintain and keep our system because with this successful. So you're working pretty closely with Renault then? We are actually in a strategic partnership Daimler and Renault and we have some strategic projects actually running and one of them is the smart new smart project.
Yo, Kim Betker of the Automaker Smart. We thank you very much for joining NC at Knowledge.